Hey everyone, Mike Hidalgo here. Thank you for joining us on another FCP Euro DIY. Today, we're gonna to be working on our Porsche 911. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to replace the belt on this 996 behind us. This is your main belt that drives all the accessories on the motor. Some vehicles have multiple belts. The 996s have one that run off the crank and power everything else around them. This is a pretty straightforward job. A couple of reasons you might want to look into this before starting this job though. Belts over time age just like anything else. Through the heat cycles and running time, they tend to go and deteriorate. Sometimes they break and crack. And sometimes if they go even further than that, they will snap and you can have bigger problems down the road. This belt is responsible for running your water pump, your alternator, power steering pump, and AC compressor if you have one. So a very critical component. So in our case, as you may have heard, our car is fairly new to us. We have no service history for it, and it's got a chintzy belt on it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna need for this job. For this job, you're gonna need very basic tools. You're gonna need a couple different ratchets. We have a half inch drive and a 3 8 drive with us today. We have a 24 millimeter socket. If you have a 24 millimeter wrench at home, you can sub out the larger ratchet and socket for that. We have a couple extensions, as well as a 13 millimeter socket and a flathead screwdriver. Now that we have all our tools covered, let's get started on this DIY. So first, we're gonna go ahead and remove our air box. We're gonna unplug our mass airflow sensor by pressing these two tabs in. I like to push it into the car, into the box, and then pull it back out. I'll free that up. From there, I'm gonna remove the oil fill tube. This just pops up and out of the way. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna remove this hose clamp that connects the intake boot to the throttle body. You can use a flathead screwdriver. I'm using an eight millimeter socket on a ratchet. And then from there, you wanna remove the 13 millimeter bolt that holds the whole box to the engine bay. From there, we can go ahead and give the intake boot a gentle tug and separate that. Then we're gonna pull the air box out and remove the mass airflow sensor wire from the little connecting clip that holds it in place. Now that we have our air box out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the belt. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to put a 24 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever you have, on this tensioner here, and we're gonna compress it. I have a socket on a wrench. Again, that's a 24 millimeter. I'm gonna push down on that. I'm just gonna slip the belt off. If you haven't done so already, make sure you note the orientation of the belt before you pull it off. There's a bunch of pictures online that you can use. I like to take a picture before I do this. Now we can feed our new belt in. I'm gonna work my way from the water pump up, as this one's gonna be the sneakiest to get on. Now I have the belt almost lined up for the most part. Because it's easier to reach up here, I'm gonna pull it off this top roller. And put it on everywhere else. Reaching underneath the car to get to this water pump pulley. Give it a quick tug. Make sure it looks good on all the pulleys. And now we're gonna put our 24 mil back on the tensioner and try to slip the belt on. This is a new belt, so it's not gonna be as stretchy as the old one. Might be a little bit tighter to get this one on. Just like that. Now we can put our air box back on and wrap up this job. Now we're gonna put our air box back in. On the bottom, you'll see there's supposed to be two allocating dowels. Ours is missing one, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure the one on the right finds its way in. We're gonna go ahead and slip it in. As we do that, we're gonna run our mass airflow sensor wire through that clip on the corner. There we go. And we can go ahead and line up our air box. Make sure we 
Got that dowel in its home down below. There we go. We can slip our intake boot on. Now we're going to reinstall our 13 millimeter bolt that holds the box into place. Oil filler tube can be popped back into its home. I'm using an 8 millimeter socket, however, you can just use a flathead. And we can pop our air tube back in. Just like that. And then, last but not least, reconnect our mass airflow sensor. There we have it. And there you have it, my good people. Another DIY in the books. This one's pretty straightforward. The bell job is one of the easiest and probably fun things you can do maintenance-wise on this car that's not gonna take a lot, whole lot of time and a whole lot of tools. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on what we did today, leave those in the box below. And if you like this DIY and you wanna see more like them, please consider subscribing. We make new ones all the time. As always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.